So we just covered discovery search uh, with the library's homepage. So the discovery search engine. But within the discovery search engine, we have an extra tool um, that is frequently not available at other libraries. This is the only place I've ever seen with this tool. And it is a Pico specific search bar. Now, just as an overview, not that you need it, your Pico question should cover all of these components. You should have a population, an intervention, a comparison to that intervention, and an outcome. Now, in Discovery Search, if we look, uh, we can look at it right here. We see Pico Search as a link, but even from the library's homepage, If I click on advanced search, we also see the Pico search bar on the advanced search page. And if you click on that, it brings up a very specific Pico search bar. So your job now is not to think of how do I break down my Pico question into keywords? It's how do I break those keywords across all of these different fields? Now, my suggestion to you is that you fill out the population, intervention, and outcome fields and leave comparison blank. And the reason for that is that often PICO questions, the, the comparison piece is the lack of intervention. And that's very, very hard to search for. And even when there is a direct comparison, frequently articles don't exist that have already compared the two uh, interventions. So I suggest you search for one intervention at a time. So let's say our population is adults. Uh, the intervention is exercise. And the outcome is um, we want to look at arthritis. So I'll fill out those lines. It will generate a search string for me, adults and exercise and arthritis. And then we start with 295,000 results. And then you would go through the same filtering process. You would use your peer reviewed filter, perhaps the full text filter, the publication date filter. Right here, you can see that the earliest article here is 1817, which is fascinating, I'm sure, but also probably not relevant to your modern research and your subject filter. So it's important for you to know how to use advanced search on its own for other courses, especially. However, when you're doing evidence-based practice research and you have a PICO question, this search bar is very, very helpful.